kids wet the bed or have trouble controlling their bladder. Here to tell us when it is a problem is Wesley physical therapist Sarah Willis. And thank you, Sarah, for being here. Thanks for having me. You know, you really never hear of physical therapy to help with potty training, but it kind of works with bedwetting. Well, it's a little different than potty training. This is, we work with kids that are a little older, maybe seven years old and older, up to teenagers. And um, it, it's common that people know about physical therapy, working with children to help with motor uh, muscle control mm -hmm. for walking and playing, getting back to sports. But um, it's a muscle that controls bowel and bladder control also. So we can work with that also. So when do you need to start thinking in that direction? Uh, we we work with kids that are seven years old and older, so hopefully just your basic potty training can get kids to where they need to be by seven. But if you're still having trouble by seven or older, then it would be a good idea to talk with your doctor and maybe see a physical therapist. And how does the physical therapy work? You have some sensors on your arm that you're going to kind of show us and explain. Yeah, um, first we put sensors on a child's arm and just show them how when they use their muscles in their hand, then they can see an image on the computer mm -hmm. and they they understand that they can see their hand moving but it's harder to understand when the muscles that control the bowel and bladder move so um, then we can put the sensors near the muscles that work oh. the bowel and bladder and then they can see the image change on the computer and they understand if they're contracting or relaxing and if they feel like they're feeling that muscle change then they know that that's what's helping them um, not go to the restroom right. but, you know with sleeping it's a little bit different I feel like because you're not aware. Right. Sleeping, we work a lot with scheduling. We talk about um, when you're drinking and eating, what other medical things may be going on. Uh, we work with them just being able to sense when they need to get up and go to the bathroom. So some of it's with scheduling, some of it's with more of an understanding of when you need to go. Let's say a seven-year-old starts physical therapy um, for bedwetting. How long does it usually take until they grasp it? We usually work with kids about a month, um, once a week, and then maybe for a couple weeks after that to check up on things. Um, so there should be a significant improvement within a month or two. Sometimes yeah. it's physical, but sometimes it's not. Right. Sometimes there are emotional factors or uh, medical factors, so we do work closely with the physician or sometimes with a counselor. And just find out what's going on with that child. Yes. And see if you can help them right. with physical therapy. If somebody is watching right now at home and they're thinking, we're kind of going through this problem, <laughs> what can they do? First thing would be to talk with the physician and see if there's a medical problem and see if it possibly might be related to muscle control. Okay. And then if so, then they can come see you they or could, somebody else like yourself. Yes. They would get a help. referral from their physician to come see us. Okay. And then you could try the physical therapy. Okay. Well, thank right. you for being here today. Right, we appreciate it. If you'd like more information about Wesley Medical Center's family education classes, you can go to kick.com and then just click on find.